So I've arrived at my destination to start a race. This would go along with performance, which is what I want to talk to you about in this video. This sometimes happens and it's frustrating. You literally can't do the race because it keeps doing that. And it's very, very bizarre. When you're driving in the overworld, just really quick, the performance is actually really good. I call it the overworld using Zelda terminology in third person. If you drive in cockpit mode, whether there's rain or not, I find that the performance can take a bit of a hit. It won't do as well. It'll be pretty decent. It'll actually be really decent in the overworld. When you're in a race, there are different servers that are being used than the ones for running the overworld, the main map. That's where there's a lot more performance issues. Still playable, but very frustrating. We're already going on day three here of the game. So it looks like I can't... Like I... I literally cannot join this this race give me a second and I'm gonna try to go to another one I'm gonna show you the performance of fast traveling regardless of the distance if you're curious it's roughly five seconds just to go on and talk about that now I'm going to approach another race, and hopefully things are a little wee bit better there. Honestly, that's the first time I've had that happen, but I've had people approach races in the past. Long, long, long ago, almost 60 hours ago, and they were told that the servers were offline, but they were still driving in the overall. That's how I know that their servers are separate for each, which actually makes sense. I actually have high hopes for the long term of this game. If you look at the likes of Cyberpunk and No Man's Sky, I feel like these people will eventually deliver the goods. I really do. I mean, I, I'm i playing Star Wars and on launch, that was absolutely atrocious. I lost like 15 hours of gameplay. Well, closer to 11 to 12, whatever. I lost a bunch of hours of gameplay because the performance of the game was crap and then they came out with an update that made it that you were going to get locked out warhammer space marine 2 that game just came out well guess what i have a hard time connecting and staying connected to that goddamn game now you could play it offline progress doesn't carry over back to online okay and to me that's an issue and that game gives me a lot more headaches from a performance standpoint from a stability server stability standpoint in this game here we're just going to see how things go because remember i was talking a lot of crap about the uh the dungeons the races which run on their own separate servers i want to test to see today if it's better okay Okay, let's just go. Gotta have my headlights on. Where it says amateur, yeah, that's because of the difficulty. And this is AI. Generally, if you start a race pretty quick and you do not wait for the race to begin, then it won't get filled with real people. Shit balls. Hey, I never said I was good at the game here. I'm just here to talk to you about the performance of the game, not my person. See, I'm already getting like a lot of a lot of stutter, a lot of frame drops. It's still very playable, but there's a lot of, I would say, three to five FPS drops, which you will feel it. Now let's go into the cockpit. I'm already feeling some. Oh yeah, I'm already feeling it a little bit, where it drops down. But as you could tell. From the actual, see? Footage. Like, that's rough. That whole, like, almost 10 seconds there, that was actually, that was rough. And again, that was in the cockpit mode. 
if we do the overworld. What are these? The AI from Need for Speed Unbound? There's always that one dude that kept kicking my ass, but I was busting down everybody else. Again, very playable, just frustrating. And I truly believe that it'll get much better. I have no doubt in my mind. But I just wanted to talk about it, not exaggerate it. I don't want to downplay it either. I just, I want you to see it for yourself. When I record and I upload, 95% of what you see is going to be accurate on your screen in terms of visual fidelity. In terms of the actual performance, well, of course that's going to be bang on. So then you could be the judge. That was a nice, quick little race. It was unbelievable. You see what I did there? It's just me being silly. That was doable. Slightly annoying, but doable, okay? If you like this game, if you want a garage and the whole social lifestyle of what Test Drive as a franchise brings, and you're craving for this game you've already seen it there's no way i'm the first person that you've watched gameplay from for me it's hard to be like oh yeah i'll recommend it or not recommend it i don't think i could ever do that all i can do is tell you that myself i do not regret my purchase so take that as you will i'm not a shill i don't like I said, up play or down play anything. I just, I share how I feel. It's as simple as that. Okay. So we saw a decent amount of little jittering there. Let's see if we could find another, another race really quick to go to. Not to do, but just to go to. Okay. And you'll see how the overworld is much smoother for the gameplay which arguably at times can actually have more going on. So it's not a question about that. It's server stability, optimization of the server stability, whatever fancy word you want to use. They just, they got to work on their shit, man. <laughs> That's all I could tell you. And very few developers of big games just up and completely abandon a game. I mean, look at Redfall and even they tried to fix that as much as they could. And they finally gave us the offline mode and right practically every game that comes out it's a trend it shouldn't be a trend and i'm not defending the trend just don't treat this game like it's the only one that's doing it okay little little jitter janky jitter got a little bit of the janks but it's not horrific oh generally every time i Man, those cars vanished into thin air like a magic trick. I'm telling you, Shin Lim is up in this place. He's doing some funky shit, okay? He just, he is. I'm, you know what, for my VIPs, I'm going to do it. See? Race preparation. Don't don't wait for the race preparation. What are you doing? You don't wait for the race preparation. That's how you end up getting yourself with real players. You don't want that. You want the game to auto-kick you with a bunch of AI dingleberries who are still on easy. Not a word to this to anybody unless you share my video and it gets a million views. I forget what I was going to say now, but yeah. Try this again. Was there a car in front of me? I'm, now I'm starting to think everything's just vanishing. No, I don't think it was. Already two small instances of some frame rate drop where you would feel it. If you're sensitive to it, you'll you'll essentially grow to maybe kind of despise the races and you'll just kind of want to hang out in the overworld rather than delving into the dungeons. I'm not used to the handling, which, by the way, that's a separate topic. I think it's actually good for what it is for an arcade racer. I'm just not used to it at all. I do much better in Forza. Much, much, much better. 
this game does a good job of making it look like I've never played a racer. Yeah, again, a lot of... Oh, yeah, that was a pretty good one there. With the frame rate. And then it stays... It's almost like it's struggling at, like... I don't know. I can't guess the frame rate, but you can just feel it. The tracks from that smoothness won't prevent you from finishing the race. Maybe that's why I'm stuck in second place. It's all the lag. If I wasn't lagging, I'd be actually in first place. I'm just saying. No, we all know that's a crock of shit. Yeah, so of all the races I've done, which is probably like close to half a dozen, and I've spent like probably close to an hour driving in the overworld, they are definitely different. And again, I'm quite hopeful and confident things will get better. Just whether or not you've got that patience to wait for that. Yeah, it is annoying. Like my tolerance is, I don't even know what it would be considered. I like driving around just in general. Like I said before, I've been dying for a racer on PS5. I've got my good stuff on my PC. Starting to look like Lex Luthor. Gonna leave the race. Okay, and that'll be it. So that was the bonus footage from my VIP there. Did I reach 12? No, I didn't. Oh, number 9. Anyhow, thumbs up if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel uh, with the algorithm in trying to make me desperately more relevant in the search results. When people are looking stuff up online on the internet. If you didn't like the video, that's okay. You go ahead. You give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half. I'll twist it. And I'll make sure when you wake up tomorrow, you see out of your left eye at 24 frames per second. And your right eye, 144 frames a second. And if you want to subscribe to the channel... Naturally, that would be great now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And if I'm lucky, maybe... I'll see some of you in the next one. Damn it, I never get the three stars. Alright, bye for now.